Okay, so we do have some signings to talk about, and that's a recurring thing in this video. So what I'm going to do from now on is the past, how many signings were there since I made the George Archibald? Um, there has been one, two, three, four, five, six signings since that point. So we're going to take a look at all those signings, go in depth, and discuss them. So I know the Josh Archibald signing was probably the most minor one uh, of all these. But when there's like a big pile of these, and they're all like minor players that I don't really know about, like Alex Bieg is probably the only person that I really know on in this entire group. So I'm just gonna review all the all these players, and you know just get to know them. So we're gonna start off with Alex Bieg, of course, because he's the like the earliest signing. So Alex Bieg with the Detroit Red Wings has signed a one-way, one-year, $875,000 contract. Now, his stats for this season are 49 games played, zero goals, three assists for three points. I don't know what the Trent's thinking there, really. I mean, he's a defenseman, but he played 49 games with six points. No, not six points, three points. And he was selected in the 5th round, 2006, by the Buffalo Sabres, 100, 147th overall. I mean, it's okay. I mean, it, def it depends on his defensive play. It doesn't really matter if he's putting up points or anything. But with this guy, it matters on his defensive style of play. So if he's good. So he seems like a pretty, oh, he's not a very good point defenseman. I mean, he's only scored four goals in his career since literally 2006. So, but he only, but he was drafted in 2006 by the Sabres. And played his first game in 2014. So I don't really know what Detroit's thinking here. I mean, it's kind of, I guess, it sort of kind of makes sense. But I don't really see where they're coming at from here. Now the next signing we have to look at is, um, who is it? Gerard Rosberg. So let me look him up here. I need to get out of the Red Wings website. Um, Gerard. So Gerard Rusberg has signed a two-way, one one-year contract, nine, a nine hundred and twenty-five thousand dollar cap hit. So his stats this season he doesn't have any NHL stats, but he did play. But the career stats we have for him are. 2019-20, he played for Michigan State University. He has 36 games played, 4 goals, 13 assists, 4 17 points. A minus 5 plus minus and 22 penalty minutes. That's not bad. I know this guy's not going to do a lot in the NHL, and let's just... He is a defenseman as well, so... That's actually not too bad. I see this signing kind of affecting out positively for the Stars, because that's... Because those points are there, 17 points, is almost average. For a defense, for like a rookie defenseman or a, a college defenseman or like even an AHL defenseman, that's kind of average. So there you go. I think that's pretty good. Um, the next one is Patrick Coran Court. I'm gonna butcher this one. Patrick Korenenko has signed a entry level two way three year contract, two million seven hundred seventy five thousand dollars with the your New York Rangers. So. I gotta look him up again. Apologies. Is he even in NHL? He's not in NHL.com, so. I guess I'll have to go into the cap friendly stats, actually. Alright, so. He didn't play for the Hartford Wolfpack, of course. But, with Michigan State University, he played 36 games played. Um, 16 goals, 17 assists for 33 points, being a center. That's that's good, like, fourth, third line, well, probably fourth line. Good fourth line center minutes. I mean, he's probably going to go down to the hard for what back in the American Hockey League, but still, that's not that bad. So, I see this working out positive, working out hopefully positively for the your New York Rangers. I hope it's going to work out for them. All right, so the next signing is, I think, with the Red Wings again. If it isn't, then I'm, I'm the biggest idiot on earth. Uh, no, it's actually Toronto. 
Mikhail Abramov has signed an entry-level two-way three-year contract, $2,430,000. Um, let's see if this guy's actually in here. Here, I can just look up Abramov. Mikhail Abramov. So, his stats, he doesn't have any NHL stats. Of course, he's a center, and uh, he played for the he played for the Russia team. But, um, Victoriaville Tigers. Um, in his latest season, he has 63 games played, 35 goals, 41 assists, 76 points. Best player we've seen so far. This guy could actually work out really well for the Maple Leafs. And the Maple Leafs are good offensively, so it sucks that they signed a freaking offensive guy and not a defensive guy. But still, this will help their team. A three-year entry-level contract sounds just sounds about right. And I think it's going to work out for the team. And I mean, in all of the seasons I see here with C.V. Mosca, under 16, under 17, and the Victoria Tigers, he's had at least 20 points. Except for one season, where he only played 8 games and had 17 points. So, so, still, that's really good. I mean, he could become a really good player for, like, in, like, probably around, like, the 2021-2022 season. Or the 2020-2021 season. He could turn into a great player. For the Toronto Maple Leafs. So I see this one actually working out really well for the Maple Leafs. And I wouldn't be surprised. If this if this guy actually wins them games. Wins them tons of games. So look out for that Maple Leafs fans. Alright so we have two signings left. And we actually take these to, to the two cities of Pennsylvania. So the reason why I'm wearing the Flyers is because they signed Wyatt Wiley. To an entry-level two-way contract, three years, two million dollars, six hundred two million six thousand and twenty-five six hundred twenty-five thousand dollars. Let me look them up here. Oh, we do. We have both. We have two Wyatts on this on this team here. It keeps auto-correcting it to what? So I'm gonna literally lose my mind. All right. So Wyatt Wiley has no NHL stats, of course. And a lot of these signing roundups are just going to be entry levels, are just going to be a lot of entry levels. So we'll review his most recent season with the Everett Silver Tips of the Western Hockey League. He has played 62 games, played 14 goals, 50 assists for 64 points, um, a 28 plus minus, and 35 pound minutes. That's pretty good. I mean, it's a it's a little bit above a point for, per game, but what position is this guy? A defenseman. Who Philadelphia, you are the smartest. You are one of the smartest. So, this could be really good. If he's a defenseman, that's going to help out their team a lot. And um, we don't really have... Philly doesn't have the best defense. I mean, look at us last night. We lost to Boston 2-0. And we have Travis Sanheim. We have Ivan Provorov. And that's about it. I mean, we, we have Goss Spare. But Goss Spare has not is not what he used to be. I mean, 2017-18, we're gonna go back to that era. He was he was okay. He was pretty good. 2018-19, that was bad for Goss Spare. He had like 87 points in 2018-18. 2017-18, he had like 47 in 2018-19. So that's not good. And I wouldn't be surprised. He's been in trade rumors a lot, so I wouldn't be surprised if Goss Spare gets traded and this Wyatt Wiley guy. Come steps up to the plate and plays in Gossespierre's position because Gossespierre, I think he literally just got called up last, like yes, like a few days before the Boston game. I remember Jim Jackson saying in the game yesterday, he said that Gossespierre hasn't been a part of the power play lo- of the power play, so that's pretty obvious that he hasn't been in the NHL for that long. And I wouldn't be surprised if Wiley comes in and replaces him. So good signing by the Flyers. That's a great signing. Um, the next one is Drew O'Connor signs a two-way, two two years, two-year contract, a value of three million five hundred fifty thousand dollars with the Pittsburgh Penguins. So we're gonna look up, we're gonna look up, look him up here. Um, he's a left wing, of course. I don't know if I said that already. What's his first name? Drew. I don't know why I tried to do that. Oh, it looks like he's not on um actually the NHL, so that's 
some of these players aren't really in the NHL, so that doesn't surprise me. All right, so this is a two-year contract. Uh, playing with the Dartmouth College, the NCAA. No idea where Dartmouth is. Idaho, I don't know. <laughs> 31 games played, 21 goals, 12 assists for 33 points. A 3 plus minus and 42 penalty minutes. That's just a little bit above... Uh, that's just a little bit above a point per game. So, he's a left wing. That's probably third line, second line at the max winger there. So, I'd say he's actually going to be pretty good for this team. And I know Pittsburgh's, no offense Pittsburgh's fans, I like Pittsburgh's fans, but Pittsburgh is my least favorite team, obviously, because I'm a Flyers fan. But this player could do really well for them. And it's just like with Wyatt or Wiley, like players like I can't really think of any players that are on the team right now that are doing really bad for Pittsburgh. But this guy could step up, take out someone on this on the third line, and then move him to, and then he'll play third line minutes. That's where I would probably expect this guy to be. Alright, anyways, we did that in our fifteen minutes. That's good. This is gonna be it for this video. Um thank you guys for watching. If you guys did enjoy, please make sure to leave a like and hit that subscribe button. We are at 62 subs to count this video. We're trying to get to 100, and I will see you guys in the next one.